Okay, so take two, and my name's Kage, and this is the Tea Podcast. So, uh, for the sake of the video, I have some Overwatch playing in the background because I want to talk about a little topic that was pretty near and dear to my heart that happened just moments ago, or in competitive play. And that is how to effectively work with a team, and to actually be a part of an effective team. So I'll make sure that this mute or this or audio is muted, because let's be clear: when you are working in a competitive team, when it gets right down to it, if your team loses, it is your fault, flat out. Now, I'm not saying that individually your skill sucks. I am not saying that as a small unit your skill sucks. What I am saying is that if your team is losing, there is something you could potentially be doing better, regardless of if you are in bronze or top 500. It boils down to collective team unity, meaning working as a team together for the common goal. Now, the reason I point this out is because, all right, this last match, I was blamed as a brigade for not hopping on the point and losing the first point. And keep in mind, this did go to round three. And round three is where the game was actually lost for good. Because team changes happened that just were not very sensical. And I'll admit, I tried to flex pick on that and pick a better healer suited for the scenario. But it didn't pan out. I'm learning from it, and I want to use that experience to play better next time. But as a team, that could have gone a lot better as well, because they were team errors. And what I did on the first point as a Brigitte, what reason that they said I was the one who messed it up, even though it wasn't me at all, was I was saving a D.Va from a one-on-one -on -one with a Brigitte. And D.Va could have boosted onto the point faster than I could have got there. And a Brigitte versus Brigitte is a dead even match. A D.Va versus Brigitte heavily favors Brigitte because she er, is a counter dive or er, support tank. And as I say support tank, not a true tank, she is very much a support focused tank. But she's, she's a beast when it comes to doing DPS too right now. D.Va is going to lose that matchup unless it is a highly skilled D.Va, flat out. So it just doesn't work out, as that is what Brigitte's designed to do. So it made sense to me to one-on-one -on -one with the Brigitte, let the D.Va get to point, and be able to handle everything else because she's got high mobility versus everything versus a Reinhardt. But they wanted to play me for it. I'll admit, it might not have been the best decision, but in the moment, I didn't see any other decision. It's a... To me, that was common sense. So, fast forward to the end of the match, this same D.Va was literally stood that far from the point and would not step on it. Now, I switched to Lucio and tried to get there as fast as I could, but it just didn't work out. And I probably should have switched to Lucio probably one death sooner, which would have really helped. And what that boils down to is the team did not work together. So the match before that, it was literally a three stack plus one and a two stack versus a full six stack. The first thing I've got to emphasize here is when you are in a full against a full six stack, the first thing that should pop into your head is, oh, hey, let's get into team chat and coordinate with everyone else so we can possibly win. Because that is the point of competitive, to win, to test your skills and get better. Now, granted, right now, my SR is the highest it has been in three seasons, which is pretty bad because I was over a 1,000 before competitive tonight, and I'm just under a 1,000. I know I can get it back, no problem, Said, so, but the team has to work with the, with the rest of the team, and if you see that your team is lacking in something, point it out. Communicate information. And if you're not communicating with your team, you are a problem for the whole team. Because, like, as an example, 
tracer or is a flanker. She could be in position, have pulse bomb ready, and ready to just throw it in there and have an awesome freaking combo. Or if you have Azaria and a grab ready. But if that tracer is not a team chat and Azaria is saying, hey, I have grab ready, let's combo. And you throw the grab in there and the tracer is not paying attention and no pulse bomb, or the grab is almost basically wasted if the team didn't capitalize on it. Now, you might have the other five people in your chat, but if you don't have the damage output, and you are counting on the Tracer to give you the game-winning play, then guess what? Your Tracer just screws your team. And you could have, might have think, hey, you could have done better, but truth is, that was a would be a Tracer's fault. Now, if your healing output is sucking, then figure out, like, okay, what is killing me as a healer? You figure out what you can do to be a better healer. Like, okay, they're countering me with Brigitte. Right, switch to Moira. Moira is a direct counter to Brigitte because Moira can or basically shadow step in and out and avoid that shield bash. She can keep healing your teammates. Is where Mercy, relatively high mobility, wouldn't be a bad pick, but she's not a good pick versus Brigitte. Anna, bad pick against Brigitte because very low mobility. Now, when you're up against something, say, like a Widow, a race. Anna is not a bad flex pick if you can play Anna. But the most important thing is know how to play your character and play it well. And learn how to do better. That's what it boils down to is being your best on these characters and working with the team. Because if you're not working with your team, you are screwed. If you are not playing your best character to the best of your ability, you are still screwed. So you have to work with your team, and if you can play Brigitte pretty well, and your teammate is better at Junkrat, and you're playing Junkrat and they're playing Brigitte, then swap. Let them have their best character. Simple as that, right? So, well, let's just leave, or leave it at that point. Point blank, end of story. Like, you've got to work with your team in competitive. You've got to do your personal best, and you have got to coordinate with your team. Like, as that is the whole point of competitive, is to win the match. And if you're not working with your team, you're not winning the match. Now, let's not make, make the mistake of saying that I'm saying Roche has the end all be all. No, it's not. Just getting a communication is not going to solve every single problem. It's just not. But with talking with your teammates, like, it is communicating information. I'm going to pause the video to go point that out because this little area to the top right here, or, yeah, where you see or the, the little icons popping up and the, and the names of the people, that is some of the biggest information you can have. Because when you start seeing something like this, I'm going to back up, or back up 10 seconds here and play it forward so we can... Right there, perfect example of stuff that you need to pay attention to in the middle of a competitive match. The video itself is quick play, but that is vital in competitive. Because that is a clue to say, oh hey, let's step up and be a shot caller. Say, back off, regroup. And that's all you can do. It is up to your teammates to decide, oh, is this good? Or do they want to relay information? Say, like, oh, I have an ultimate. Or they, they can balance this out. It, it boils down to communication. And or being a good teammate. And a good example. The six stack versus my team, which was the four, one, and two. The fact that the two stack did not get in team chat with us, recognizing that we are up against a formidable challenge, was a game losing mistake from the get go. And it was lost on the character select screen because of that. It was lost before the game even began. But my team still did as best they could. And it's just unfortunate that the team did not recognize that it needed to be a full team communication to counter that six stack. And the six stack, to their credit, they were like a well old machine. They ran over a steamrolled, and even their horse performing character was performing well enough that they weren't they weren't hampering their team. They were still contributing. Ours was shaky, and it even, even though as a tank, there were times I know I could have done better. 
like better calls on my diva bombs the the dps that was on our side just was not doing their job and when you're when you know you have a good healer don't take their healer from them like pick another healer you're good with pick another character you can flex into so for all you bronze players out there like first of all do not blame your teammates for problems even though they might legitimately be causing a problem which is what i'm discussing in this video say flex pick learn two i would say probably two heroes from every category and even though you don't have to master them know them well enough you can play them if you want to join competitive because sometimes there are going to be people who just don't know how to do anything other than one trick and to the credit they know those characters well but after a certain point it's just going to be game over because as you climb up in the ranks they're going to know how to counter you very easily and they will know how to flex pick so say if you're a brigitte and that's all you played to get up to say diamond then smack smack like they're gonna cap they're gonna cap they're gonna cap you as all what they need what they're gonna do is just basically go behind you cap you a tracer or even mccree and it's gonna be game over so in in summary learn to flex pick do not blame your team for problems even though it might legitimately be a problem and learn how to be a better teammate and don't be toxic even if your team is screwing up so with that i am signing off the t podcast and thank you for watching this video please leave a like and a comment below and if you would like you can leave me a follow on twitch and with that I will see you next podcast.